Sissy over at Cam Park sent me this micro USB lavalier microphone that's designed to work with the Cam Park V30 action cam. I'll test this microphone out and see how it works coming up on Thrifty AV. There's not a standard for micro USB microphones, so if it works on one action cam, it might not work on the other. I've been told that this specific microphone is for a Cam Park V30. Now, this is not for sale on Amazon yet, but when it becomes available, I'll include a link in the description so that you can get one of these. So let's take a closer look at this microphone. This is a pre-release version of this microphone, so there's no unboxing to do and no literature to look at. I don't even have a model number, but just looking at it, there's a few things I like about it. This clip here rotates so you can position it more than one way. It has a foam windscreen that's nice and snug on here. It's not going to fall off. And this cord is braided that helps with tangling and it's also a little more rugged than your regular plastic cord. So I'm going to see how long this cord is. This cord is about 58 and a half inches long. It's 60 inches from the end of the USB to the tip of the microphone. It's time to put this on and do a little testing with it. I'm going to start by recording myself with the built-in microphone on the Cam Park V30. I've turned off image stabilization because the Cam Park is on a tripod. I'm using the built-in microphone on the Cam Park. It's about 18 inches from my face. So this is what the built-in microphone sounds like. I've now switched over to the external microphone for the Cam Park V30, and this is what the external microphone sounds like. Now let's take it outside and see how it sounds outdoors. It's a slightly overcast day with a light breeze. I have the Cam Park V30 on the end of a selfie stick with the external microphone clipped to my shirt. The cable is plenty long enough to reach from this microphone to the Cam Park V30. Uh, the breeze is starting to pick up. I'm wondering if you can hear any wind noise on the microphone right now. Also, there's a dog barking over here. There's birds chirping. How much of those noises can you hear through this microphone? Dog's barking. That sounded pretty good to me. I'm back in the house again. This time I'm not going to clip the microphone to my shirt because I want to check the off axis rejection. I don't know what the pickup pattern is on this microphone, if it's unidirectional or omnidirectional. Right now the microphone is facing my mouth. I've now turned it 90 degrees so it's off axis from me so I'm seeing how it's picking up my voice now. Now I have it facing totally the wrong direction and I'm seeing how well it's picking up my voice now. It's pretty clear from that test that this microphone has an omnidirectional pickup pattern which I prefer in a lavalier mic. You might have noticed that it didn't sound quite right when I was holding it out and talking into it. That's because lavaliers are designed to be worn, and if you don't have it up against your body, they simply do not sound right. This microphone plugs into the USB on this camera, so if this camera is inside the waterproof housing, you cannot access the USB on it, so therefore you cannot use an external microphone with it. I want to thank Sissy and the other folks at Cam Park for providing Thrifty AV with a review sample of this microphone before it even became available for sale on Amazon. As more details become available about this microphone, I will update those details in my description and I will include an Amazon affiliate link. Thank you to my subscribers, thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel, and remember, stay thrifty everyone!